everybody Ann here sitting here have my coffee with all of you I'm inside the tiny house right now I've already been out sitting out in the sunshine for a little while watching the chickens uh, so far I've only got one egg but the chickens are out there squawking up a storm so I know I'm gonna get more um, it's only about eight or so anyhow uh, today I'm gonna I'm gonna get that big pot of water fill it up um, that big pot fill it up with water and take a nice shower I think the hair needs to be washed yeah definitely um, today is the day that I take Papa into the bed and I'll do a little community post later on the day to let you know how that all went. I'm filming this yesterday. Okay. You're watching it today, but I filmed it yesterday. So yeah, get a shower. Um, need to get some pine needles from Mr. Lucas. I need to process some more wood because it's still going to be cold here overnight's and um, hopefully I can get some wood to dry out a little bit more. I don't know if it's gonna rain, but I don't think it's gonna drop in temperature below freezing um, from here on out, hopefully. Keep my fingers crossed. So I want you all to say big, huge prayers today that things go well for Papa tomorrow and that they can quickly schedule him in to start his actual shots. He's right here laying on the floor by my feet. He's just so sweet. Anyhow, last night, I did not get a good night's sleep. I woke up with this whole acid reflux thing, you know, it just happens in the middle of the night. Doesn't matter if I take a sip of water <laughs> before I go to bed or, or anything, I'll wake up in the middle of the night and just feeling like I have a sick stomach. Um, and plus, I don't know if I was having bad dreams last night, but I was hearing some sounds around the, the tiny cabin. Um, it sounded like somebody was walking around crunching the ice and snow behind the, the tiny house last night. Um, and then it sounded like, it didn't sound like a knock, knock, knock on wood. It sounded like knock, knock, knock on metal siding. Um, but I went out today. Nothing's missing. I didn't see any weird footprints or anything. So I think I was just dreaming. And so that, of course, made me wake up and I couldn't get back to sleep. So I'm really tired today, but I'm going to get outside and do something. Um, I need to get some more pine needles. I know that much. I need to process some more wood. Um, who knows? There's so much that needs to be done. You know, when you live like I do, um, it's just constant work. There's always something that you can get done. So yeah, I'm going to finish my coffee here and then just get my day started. I could tell you one thing for sure. And that is that I am missing my Judy girl so very much. She, her energy, just her little spark and whatnot. I know she's being taken very, very good care of, but oh my gosh, I miss my snuggle buggy. And look at, you never know which end you're going to get sleeping up next to you with this dog. <laughs> yep, sometimes you get the head, sometimes you get the butt talks. I went into town and I picked up something from the post office box and there was something in my mailbox. There was a couple of somethings in my mailbox, so I'm going to show them to you now. <laughs> Ball. I've already opened this. This is from my mom and dad for Valentine's Day and they also sent a beautiful card and um, it was just a very touching thing from my mom that she sent and every daughter wants to hear those words from their mom. So thank you mom. That was a beautiful, beautiful card. But let me show you these t-shirts. Okay, this one is from my mom on the front of it. It has that uh, girly girl originals, girly girl originals. And on the back, I don't know if you can see it. Yes, I am a nurse. No, I don't want to look at it. <laughs> That's great. And I'm going to love this. Oh, and it's a great size. Um, let's see what size. Yep. Um, I don't like to wear my t-shirt super duper tight, so... Um, you know what? I may wear this one later on today. That is cool. And this is from my dad. So when you read this shirt, read it from my dad's perspective. Look at this. <laughs> I love the color. Yes, I do have a beautiful daughter. <laughs> Hi, Romeo. I also have a gun, a shovel, and an alibi. That is perfect, dad. I love it. And yep, this is also a size large, so I'm going to love wearing it. 
And those were from my mom and dad for Valentine's Day. So thank you, you guys. Okay, I need to put those away. Next, in my mailbox, uh, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> it just came like this, okay? Um, you know what's weird? Okay, let me just open it. Let me just open it. Let's see what's in it. Um, there's no card. Look! Oh, more gloves. Look at these gloves. And they've got the little thingies on them like I love. I love, love, love them. And, yep, I like these because you can grip things really well with them. So I am hooked up on the glove front. Um, I go through a lot of gloves, to be honest. I had um, another pair of these red gloves, and basically I wore them so much that this, uh, this stuff just basically started wearing away. So, um, there's no note. You know what's kind of weird about this? There's stamps on the front of it, but it's not postmarked. It's almost like somebody just dropped it off in my mailbox, maybe? Weird. And there's no return address on it. Well, whoever you are, thank you. Thank you very much. I love these gloves, and I need them. Yep, definitely need them. Thank you. Thank you, who you whoever you are. If you want to shoot me an email at anstinylife at protonmail.com, um, please do. I'd love to, to thank you for them. Um, very thoughtful gift. Okay, now for the next one that went to the post office box. Here it is. It's from Amazon. And, oh, it says just love fashion. I think it's something to wear. You know, during Christmas when you were a kid and um, you, you would open a box and you're like, I hope it's not something to wear. Well, these days me... I open something and I'm like, totally, I hope it's something I can wear. So let me just rip into this. Amazon makes it easy to do that because they put a little, oops, a little thingy on it. Yep, there's notes. There's notes. Okay, I'm going to read the notes first. Uh -uh -uh. Hi, Anne. Enjoy your gift. Please be cozy and warm. I hope they are the right size. Feel free to exchange, if not, from Ruthie. Again, Ruthie, Ruthie, Ruthie. Oh, goodness. Oh. <gasps> it's something in Buffalo check. Look. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Look at this, you guys. I know what this is. These are comfy jammies. Look. Look at these. I'm wearing these tonight. Look at. Oh, they're the soft kind. Um, let's see what size it is. I'm pretty sure she got the right size. Oh, she absolutely did. Um, I wear, well, I wear like a size 10 jeans, but um, in jammies, um, sometimes I can wear large, but I don't like my jammies to fit really tight, so I usually buy a size larger, which is extra large. Oh my gosh. Yes, today I'm going to take a lovely shower. I'm going to have clean jammies to wear. Um, I think I got some clean clothes to wear tomorrow. Yeah. If not, I can do laundry today because it's sunny and I can totally, you know what? I'm going to save laundry because I want to show you how the hand wringer works. So I'm going to save that for a day. I've got plenty of clean clothes. It's a clean underwear. Oh, so look. Yep. 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 Ruthie. Look at that. I'm going to match with my tiny house and look at these pants. Look at these pants. Red Buffalo check. Oh my gosh, these are going to be so wonderful to sleep in tonight. And I think I might be able to sleep without wearing like three layers of clothing. So this is going to be so comfortable. Ruthie, thank you so very much. So much. Thank you. Um, just thank you. That's all I can say. They're perfect. Um, so, so like I said before, today is Papa's uh, appointment. God, those... Those hands are making all kinds of funny noises. So, um, you'll be watching this, you know, on a day after that I actually filmed it. But 
Um, so I'm going to go to the post office again tomorrow, which for you will be, I don't know, whatever. Um, and I think there's going to be some more things waiting for me there. I do know I've got informed delivery. So five packages are on their way. There were a couple that were stuck in Mississippi because, well, they the roads, they just couldn't travel on the roads. And then I think there's three more coming from various places. I'm hoping they'll all be there tomorrow so I can just go into town once and I got to check those eggs again um, and pick them all up at once. And then I'll include all of those in another video. Um, okay, so let me see how long this has been. I'll be right back. Yep, 12 minutes. I think that's long enough for this video. So I'll keep you updated throughout the day on how Papa is doing. His appointment is at 3.15. So after that, I'll leave a community post and let you know how it went. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go out and do some stuff today. It's probably boring anyhow for you. And that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.